Hey Westies! Welcome back to my channel, and today I'll be continuing the male mistreatment series with Aiden. So two things before we start. One, I already know I've done Aiden before, so this is basically a continuation of Aiden. And number two, I know it seems like a strange time to do this right now, because Rainbow High Season 3 has been long over, and Rainbow High Season 4 is expected to start in June, so... Nothing Rainbow High related is really happening right now. But after watching the Rainbow High Project Rainbow trailer, it just made me have like have this thought. And I realized I should probably make a video about it. So let's get started. If you watched my last Rainbow High uh, male mistreatment episode about Aiden, you'll know that I talked a lot about how Ainsley and Avery are kind of closer together than Aiden, which I guess makes sense because they're both girls, and of course there's that somewhat level of separation between the fact that they're both like girls and boys. But also, not only did Avery and Ainsley like they were generally just closer as friends than Aiden, like with Aiden, but he was generally like left out of a lot of scenes with the quote unquote A's in them. Whenever they stand, like sometimes Avery and Ainsley will stand in front of Aiden, like they're more important than him, like they're better than him. And a lot of times scenes that are supposed to include all three of the A's end up just being Ainsley and Avery, which is not fair to Aiden. I know I'm saying it's not fair to Aiden, even though he's literally like a cartoon character, but you know what I mean. Anyway, after the release of the Project Rainbow trailer that released today, I realized that Aiden is a part of Rainbow High Series 5. Avery and Ainsley are not. Rainbow High Series 5 as well as Shadow High Series 2, are basically the main stars of this season. Ainsley and Avery are kind of supporting cast, in a sense. And I realized that meant that Aiden would be more of a main character than Ainsley or Avery. So I felt as though it would be really interesting to see Aiden in the foreground and Ainsley and Avery in the background. Because with the A's, it's always in reverse. It's always Ainsley and Avery hanging out off somewhere to do something else, leaving Aiden all alone. And I felt that it would be really interesting to, one, get to know Aiden more, two, see what he's like personality-wise when his friends, Ainsley and Avery, aren't around, and three, I kind of want to know his feelings on how Ainsley and Avery are kind of closer to each other than he is. I know that they probably won't cover any of that because it's a kid's show and we can't talk about emotions. It's got to be all friends, fun, fashion, and keeping everything lighthearted. But I do feel like maybe, just maybe, we could get a bit more of a perspective from Aiden's angle over Avery and Ainsley's angle. Because, like, they've been in the spotlight for way too long. It's time for Aiden to take a step at it. Also, another thing I noticed on rewatch of the trailer is that Sunny and Luna said 16 students will be competing in the Rainbow Vision competition. Um, in case you haven't noticed, Rainbow High Series 5 is 6 dolls. Shadow High Series 2 is also 6 dolls. 6 plus 6 is 12. So that means there are four extra students I didn't account for in my um, review video of the trailer. And based on the trailer, I think I can already guess who the extra four are. I know Avery's going to be one because we see her working on dresses and designs and other things. And I know that Ainsley's also going to be one because I see her clapping with the Rainbow, sorry, Shadow High students when Sunny and Luna are announcing things. I'm going to guess Skylar is another one as well because Skylar is just kind of there. And if she's not part of the competition, she really has no reason to be there. She's also seen cheering with Victoria on the Rainbow High side. And my final guess is Violet. Violet will be there because I see her in her runway look um, in part of the trailer. She uses her fingers to make like the heart sign, if you noticed. So that's my final guess. 
It's going to be Rainbow High Series 5, Shadow High Series 2, Ansley, Avery, Skylar, and Violet. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, it makes me realize that Aiden isn't actually going to be all on his own. Ainsley and Avery will be there, which creates a more interesting plot line, which will be Avery and Aiden are going to be on the same team on the Rainbow High side, but Ainsley is going to be by herself on the Shadow High side. And I think that's going to cause some conflict. It just has to cause conflict, especially since Ainsley only directly apologized to Avery and Aiden was just kind of standing there while it happened. So it technically counted as an apology to him as well, even though we all know she really meant it to Ainsley. I wonder if there's going to be a plot line in which Ainsley gets jealous of how close Aiden and Avery are becoming because they are both on the Rainbow High side. I realize that this video has morphed from a how Aiden is unfairly treated to a A's drama video, but like, let's just roll with it, okay? I also know that Avery is closer to Ainsley and typically feels more betrayed by her when she transfers to Shadow High because Ainsley is like, sorry, Avery is, as I recall, was literally in tears, like her mascara was running, and like Aiden was just blank. Either that or you can't tell that he was crying because, you know, he doesn't wear mascara. But I also find this conflict like even more interesting because Aiden seems generally like neutral with both Avery and Ainsley. It's almost as if he realizes that he'll never be as close to Ainsley or Avery as they are to each other, and he's really just there to fill out the roster. I, I don't know how to feel about what's going to happen, but all I can do is predict. So here's my final prediction. There will, like there has to be. There's going to be some drama with the A's regarding the fact that Aiden and Avery are on the same team while they are competing against Ainsley. I feel like this is going to be talk between both teams, like they're going to gossip about it as well. I also feel like Aiden might actually start to grow a connection with Avery beyond the fact that, oh, we're all like fourth years, we're all the A's, we're all this, we're all that. Like actually grow to enjoy her presence beyond surface level things. And Ainsley will take note of this and start to become jealous and may even have some slight beef with Aiden for AKA stealing her best friend. Or I could be entirely wrong and Rainbow High will go the boring way of having everything be perfect all the time. Of course, of course, I am not saying that I want more petty drama like they did in Rainbow High Season 3. I'm just saying that it would make basically no sense at all if Avery, Ainsley, and Aiden were all perfectly fine and perfectly okay with being separated all the time. Not only that, but actively competing against each other. I understand that they had their development and that they're all okay with the situation now. But I feel like it would be a serious missed opportunity to have there be absolutely no drama between the three A's. Now, I'm not rooting for drama. I'm not out here to say I want drama. But I just feel like it would make more sense if they had even more development as friends to be okay with each other to the level of competing with each other. And I also really hope Aiden grows a deeper connection with Ainsley and Avery. One, so he can actually get development and feel like a real character, not just a prop to fill out the roster. And two, so that he won't be constantly left out out of doing all the fun things with Ainsley and Avery. So that's my final theory and my final thought. I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments below. Do you think there should or shouldn't be drama between the the A's. And have you even taken all this into consideration? I really want to know what you guys are thinking up. And with that, Westies, I will see you guys next time.